but you still need a bag even though one of them it's very very useful but who knows hello everyone in today's video we're gonna speak about accessories as i promised to you guys a couple of months ago i said that i will come back to you with a video about accessories but the accessories world it's so huge so big so i had to decide what kind of approach should i make and what should be the first video that i'm gonna speak about and uh, the topic so i thought it would be a small introduction in the topic if i approach five key accessories evening pieces that everyone should own i have a couple next to me as in examples i know that uh, it's summer so perhaps you will have uh, different kinds of uh, um, you know events such weddings so you will probably at some point need to consider an accessory in terms to complete your look you know accessories can transform radically your uh, outfit as long as it is chosen smartly so I have five in number some may be obvious because everyone <laughs> is using it some you may not have thought about um, let me know in the comments down below if you would add any other accessory to this list or if you reached toward it to take it whenever you need it so should we start this is gonna be a short video but I hope it's gonna be efficient so the first things first as a woman we all need a thing a thing to carry our stuff and I know during an evening event you should not bring many clothes many clothes many things with you because you know there's no point it's evening and you don't need the, the entire uh, kitchen in your uh, bag but you still need a bag so the first item that i want to emphasize is an evening bag now mine is not a clutch you know those clutches that are metallic and very elegant etc i decided not to bring that one with me because those are so obvious and i thought this one uh, which is a a bag that imitates a vintage model perhaps from uh, the 30s 40s looks like this it is leather it's this beautiful elegant blue dark blue and easily it can fit my ah and inside it's cute i think i showed you this bag um one year ago but yeah inside it has this nice material beautiful and let's see if it fits yes it fits my my um my iphone easily probably will fit a um lipstick i don't know i don't think you need any ah maybe the card if you need money um so yeah i would suggest you to have in hand a bag that can be easily carried out uh, with you and it's important to have a strap because it's easier to put it you know here and actually you know there are situations when you have to like greet some people um, use your hands so i think it's really really useful to have a, a bag that can have some sort of a mechanism of uh, maintenance and not have only a clutch that keeps your one of your hands busy with it one tip uh, that i uh, know regarding evening bags is never ever you're not supposed to put them on the table it's either you put them on your legs under the you know the napkin if you have any napkin or on the back uh, of your uh, chair do not put your bag on the table it's etiquette 
no matter how beautiful the bag it is, no matter what brand, it should not stay on the table. So yes, first item, mandatory and useful would be a bag. The second item that it's quite known and everyone <laughs> needs one would be shoes. And I have here my latest pair of shoes that I got. It's this beautiful pair of shoes from Zara. And my point with the shoes, you know, there are so many evening shoes that are beautiful. I, I, I wish I could wear any kind of uh, high heel shoes, but the reality is the following. Your feet are gonna kill you. So I came with this model, as you can see, the heel is uh, pretty thick. So, which it is high, I think it has around 10 uh, centimeters in uh, height, but in um, thickness, it's quite thick, which for sure makes it uh, really comfortable. It gives the height for the body. It allows you to wear uh, something elegant because may not be the most elegant shoes but they're not really office shoes either and this is because of this awesome uh, flower pretty nice uh, shoes i got them from sales if uh, anyone uh, cares about and i paid i think 140 lei for them but yeah let's go back to our topic comfortable shoes it doesn't have to be le bouton i, I mean don't get me wrong if you have one please be my guest but as long as you can use them otherwise there's no point in having a pair of shoes that you're wearing i don't know for five minutes and after that you're changing it in flats not that flats would be something wrong with them but why take them the high heels from the beginning and not go for the flats even flats it's a good idea find the most um elegant flats that you can there are quite a few with sparkles with uh, bows all different flats take those and if you think that's gonna help you feel better more energized definitely is gonna be better than a pair of shoes that are really uncomfortable and it's gonna keep you strained on the chair the entire night so the second point is shoes we all need a bag and shoes, right? But what do you think it gives the most uh, elegant uh, part of uh, the outfit uh, in terms of accessories? I think that the accessory that really brings up the life of an uh, outfit would be some jewelry. And in my case, I took two pairs of earrings. Uh, I took earrings because they're the easier easiest accessory to to have in terms of uh, elevating your look and i have two versions over here one which is quite elegant and i paid 40 lei on this <laughs> i have the price over it look at it isn't aren't they beautiful actually to give you a small secret i took this for my wedding yeah yeah, it's possible to wear a 40 lei, 10 bucks pair of earrings for my wedding. But I really think there's something special. With these uh, nice gems, whatever material, it's something poorly made, right? I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that this can be worn like two, three times and they're gonna get dark. But still pretty cool so I have for the ladies who like sparkles and things of course ladies if you have like diamonds <laughs> go ahead use your diamonds I don't so I have this and for someone who is a little more minimalist and they don't like um, something with sparkles and something like this I took a pair of uh, earrings from H&M, a uh, collaboration with Mugle. I really think these could really look very, very nice 
next to a uh, dress, next to a jumpsuit for a wedding. It's uh, a little less elegant than this. So if you put this, you will appear more, uh, you know, more uh, minimalist. Uh, let, let's use that word compared with this one, but this one somehow uh, it's princessy and this one is like bossy. So <laughs> no matter how you want to go for, uh, earrings are gonna be your best friend. There are millions of examples, millions of colors, millions of models, any type of, it's impossible. I think it's impossible in this life to be a lady who doesn't have or like one pair of uh, earrings from the multitude of uh, earrings that exist. So the third point were the earrings. The last two accessories are not as common or actually they are common, but they're not as commonly used uh, by people. Even though, even though one of them, it's very, very useful and Maybe I should start with that. So let's go to the fourth accessory that everyone should have for evening attire. And that is a shawl. I know you would say, why would I need a shawl, Sandra, when I have like jackets and stuff? Well, yes, you have, but sometimes haven't you noticed that not everything works with a jacket? Haven't you wear like a sequin dress which doesn't work with anything, anything in your wardrobe? I was in that situation and I really think I have, this is what I have today. So it's a silk shawl. It looks like this and you know, you're supposed to put it over your arms and it keeps you warm. Now, it may not be the most, uh, I mean, it is quite elegant because of the model and everything, but the colors doesn't really make justice to this shawl because it has this brown and uh, combined with uh, blue re reflexes. Um, yeah, it's blue with brown and here it's also brown. It's may not be the shawl that works with any kind of outfit. I do not have any other other than this one. So yeah, ladies, trust me, a shawl, it's always, always welcomed because it's not gonna get caught into sequence. It always, it's easy to carry uh, compared with, uh, I don't know, uh, a jacket. Now, it depends on the time of the year. If it's summer, it's perfect. If it's winter, try and find uh, some other uh, clothes such as, I don't know, trench or uh, even a fur jacket. Anyways, not a shawl. A shawl is even actually, if I'm thinking a little more, it could be an option if you're using a car and you know, you're not walking a lot through uh, um, outside. So a shawl, it's always, always useful. So trust me, let me know in the comments down below if you considered it as an outdoor jacket when it comes to um, evening wear. Moreover, uh, it's very good for inside too. You never know when you get to the place where the party is, if that place is actually heated or if it's cold as hell because they have air conditioning, you never know. A shawl, put it there, take it with you, especially if you're having a I don't know, I wanted to say a man to get it, but that wasn't the point. If you have a car or any, any, anything to, um, to be able to, to carry it, don't hesitate. I think if I, if I manage to fold it correctly, I think it actually would fit into my bag. So <laughs> I think I could actually take it in my bag. So if the bag is big enough, Careful with that. Don't take a you know office bag with you. Uh, but if it's a bigger bag, please take into consideration a shawl. And the fifth accessory and our last for today would be one accessory that people tend not to grab. And 
to be honest i don't know why exactly because i really think it elevates a look this article is a brooch as an example this time i have this brooch from zara i, I paid 90 lei for it which is quite a big price for zara and the brooch but look at this it has sparkles it's elegant and imagine an outfit with a costume okay so pants a nice blouse and uh, one blazer okay and then you put this in your on your blazer beautiful maybe it's not working with all dresses but who knows i don't know if you have a wrapping dress perhaps that wraps somehow under your arm or something and it comes it can go in that place either way oh my god this makes so much noise i'm gonna show you close to have a look and then i will put it away i don't have to i don't need it in my hand so this brooch i really think it's something that could really improve uh, the evening outfit and to bring a little more elegance as much as we do not exaggerate we we cannot put this together with uh, a dress that is made with uh, sequins don't do that ladies okay but i think you can put this over one nice i, I keep taking this and it looks so much noise uh i really think you can take this and put it over one nice blazer uh i i'm imagining also one nice outfit would be like a strapped black dress okay so simple black dress we put over um a blazer and then that on the on the um, on it or even on even on the shawl so you have the shawl right yeah. sorry and then you put this to keep it right i didn't i didn't i don't know why it didn't open but can you imagine it really looks nice i think i think in my opinion again tell me down in the comments let me know if any of these accessories are uh, something that you're taking during uh, your evening events also i have so much information about accessories if you want me to make a mini series about accessories let me know and i will go a little more deeper into scarves okay there are so many ways to use a scarf you can put it over your head you can put it on your bag you can put it on your belt i have a couple of tricks there so let me know if i if you want me to bring some information uh, on this side also uh, there's so many things that we can speak about when it comes to shoes there are so many things about accessories which gladly i would like to share as long as you are interested as well so let me know in the comments down below Thanks for watching guys, this time as well. I really appreciate it and I'll see you till next time. Bye.